Hi everyone. Today we're talking about the national budget, or at least those numbers that were put into parliament by our finance minister. Um, I can't say I'm shocked, but I am surprised. Um, the king had specifically asked for a unity budget in one form or another that could be accommodating to all so that all parties in parliament could approve it. He also made it very clear it should be people-centric, it should be about COVID, it should enhance the lives of everyone. It should be a budget that would allow all members of parliament from all parties to back and allow through. Um, what was presented was anything but that. Um, quite frankly, I, I've seen a few budgets in my life and it's arguably one of the worst budgets I've ever seen. Um, it achieved literally nothing. It scattered money in different places for lots of different things without really enhancing anything. And I've written notes because there's so much to it to talk about that I don't want to waste your time going through the economic details of each. Um, so I thought we'd just highlight a few parts of it. The most, I suppose, the most significant and most important part for a budget for what we're going through now should be to address the SMEs, the small and medium-sized enterprises. In any country, the SMEs are the backbone of a nation. They are the engine that keeps an economy going, in Malaysia especially. And nowhere in the budget, in any serious way, are the SMEs addressed or their needs addressed. It's as if this budget was done specifically for banks, as far as SMEs are concerned. Well, our finance minister is a very uh, distinguished banker. So perhaps he needs to shift his positioning away from a banking mindset. But let me tell you how important SMEs are. SMEs are the engine that drives this country. Our, our need now is patrol, and we're not getting patrol, okay? Because of COVID, with everything else, we're just not getting the patrol. The gas is not coming. But if we don't take care of that engine, if we don't keep it humming, we don't give it a little bit just to keep it going, it's going to cease, it's going to crack. And when the patrol finally arrives, it won't matter because the engine's broken. We have to rebuild it. So what we need to do now is focus on keeping that engine going, just so that the economy is still moving. We can keep everyone alive. And when we're ready to take off, when that patrol arrives, we can just rush, move forward aggressively and take on the world. This budget just leaves the SMEs out. And I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. Um, then you go down to <laughs> basics like arts and culture, 15 million. Now, understand this. This is for a national program for arts and culture. This is to do, this is to support arts and culture across the board for everybody, for 32 million people. And they're spending 15 million, one five million ringgit. I don't even know what they're thinking about. And let's not forget the arts field in this country and the culture field employ a lot of people. It's ancillary units employ a lot of people. It's not just the actors, it's not just the writers, it's not just the producers or directors, it's not, you know, not, not just the performers or the choreographers, it's the cameramen, it's the designers, the set designers, it's the carpenters, it's everybody in that arena. And you would have thought that we would focus on this because this is something very important to the Malay community, to the Indian community, and even to the Chinese community. It is also something that lifts spirits up. And you, you would have expected the government to do something to ensure this area was looked at seriously.